How's it going, Star Wars fans? Welcome back to another Vintage Collection Star Wars action figure review. Been a while between three and three quarter inch figures. Um, I know I say that every time I review them because there are so many six inch figures in between. Um, but I got a hold of the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Luke Skywalker Jedi Destiny set. Um, this is a great set. The packaging is fantastic. As you can see, I've opened it. <laughs> um, so we've got three figures. I'm going to be doing three individual video reviews for each of these figures. Um, we'll be starting with Stormtrooper Disguise Luke, but we'll get a quick look at the back, and there we have it. Looks nice, really nice piece of artwork. I'm going to cut that off and, and keep that. Um, it does have a little write-up there saying, The journey of the legendary Luke Skywalker began on Tatooine. A simple farm boy. Luke's life was changed forever when he discovered a distress, a distress call from the, Re from the rebel Princess Leia. Luke infiltrated the Death Star disguised as a stormtrooper to rescue the princess. He then joined the rebellion and piloted an X-Wing into battle against the Empire, but the call of the Force was strong and after training with Jedi Master Yoda, Luke realized his true power as a Jedi Knight. So three really good char character selections. Um, they could absolutely do a second one of these packs with Farm Boy Luke, Bespin Luke, and maybe Final Duel Luke uh, for Return of the Jedi. We could absolutely do that, and I would buy it because these figures are <laughs> these figures are extraordinary. So just excuse me while I move the camera a little bit so we can get a better look. So here we have it. We have Luke in his Stormtrooper disguise now is using the the body of the new Rogue One Stormtrooper, I believe. Um, obviously, it's altered a little bit, so he's a little bit shorter, like they did with the 6-inch Black Series. And he has a purposefully sculpted belt for this figure. Um, get a look at the helmet. So the only problem that came with this figure, which is just a factory paint thing, is the... Uh, the eye there is not quite hitting in the right spot, but that's easy. I've got a black, a little small, very small black pen um, that will that will clean that right up. But aside from that, it's a nice sculpt. It's not super soft. It's it is there, um, but it feels better than the previous ones we've had. The ones that really turned yellow in the start of the vintage collection. Um, there were some clone troopers and even the stormtrooper that first came out um, did have a helmet that yellowed a little bit. So I hope that we don't see it with this. I hope they've uh, chosen a better plastic. It looks nicer. Um, it looks like it's. It actually looks like it's even. It might even be painted. Um, I can't tell. But it's a good fit. It fits on Luke's. Head nice and snug. So you can just see that eyes are a little off there. But I'll fix that up. That won't be a problem. We'll get a nice close look at the head sculpt. If I can zoom in and have it focus for me. Yeah, I think we're going to get... That's pretty damn close. It's a really nice look. Again, we've got the photo reel, um, photo reel paint apps coming to the three and three quarter inch line now, and I hope it's I hope it becomes a standard. Because uh, yeah, this, this is one of the better looking looks we've seen. Um, it's not quite there, but it looks good. It looks better than any others we've had in the past. So we'll get a quick look over the. Body. Oh, and the belt on this is fantastic. So you've got his comlink attached there. That isn't removable. But on the back, we've got his sort of zipline uh, cable, which is an absolutely awesome addition because I don't believe this has been done before. We've got a holster, which is appears to be a working holster. I haven't used it myself, but it should be. Notice was standard white stormtrooper armor. Got his E11 blaster there. It's a nice little touch of silver there on the on the gun. 
it's quite a nice figure. Um, I've got Han Solo coming on the way. I had to order it once I got this guy out of the package. Um, need those two together, so I'm pretty pretty excited to get that as well and have these two on display together. In terms of articulation, he's got a ball jointed head, which a little, allows for a little bit of movement. Um, it is just a ball and socket. He's got ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged at the elbows, which you get really nice range of movement there. So you get a nice, a little bit further than 90 degrees. So that's good. Got the swivel wrists, uh, sort of torso joint there, ball hinged hips, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles as well. So an absolutely quality figure. Oh, I'm really happy with this one. I hope he does get a single card of release at some point. That would be great. Um, you know, further down the vintage collection line, release these individually. Um, but to get this San Diego Comic Con set and have them early is, is awesome. Um, but yeah, I hope this becomes a standard. So, hope you've enjoyed this review. This has been a cool figure to have a look at and chat about. Next up, we'll be looking at the X-Wing pilot Luke. So stay tuned for that one. Until then, may the force be with you.